Hello everyone, this is Edward Bauman, one of the sound designers and game designers for the Anthem game, which is now on its prototyping phase. For those who don't know, Anthem is going to be a massive multiplayer online game, all based in music. So the intent of this video is to show the WISE project, which is a middleware tool for dynamic audio in games. Obviously, those are not all the sounds on the game or in the prototype itself. This is just for a little walkthrough, so then you can see how HDR works uh, and how you're going to flow through this ambient. Uh, I'm going for a walkthrough first, and then I'm going to show a little bit of my hierarchies and how I organize my containers and everything. So let's start. You start on the village. Uh, the village is sad because their forest is corrupt. So there you go. All the events have their own fade in and fade out time, and they're gonna be all crossed into zones in Unity. So everything's gonna be pretty much automatic. So you're there and you're walking. Let's start a capture. So you can see how it's mapping out on the dynamic range. I have to leave it small so that you guys can see the actual soundcaster session. But it's dynamically changing all the time, it's dynamically mixing the game. So you're walking around and then you spot a waterfall far away and walk towards it. And you end up going towards a forest. Now, you have this ominous sound. The forest is corrupt by Lydia, the Dark Master around. You have, as a player, to heal resonant trees. They are all corrupt. So basically, they're going to play a song for you. And you're going to have to replicate their notes on tempo with the same notes uh, using your keyboard and as the tree gets healed uh, ambient strike is gonna come up and the healing the forest death sound is gonna come down so basically the tree is gonna play something like this you will activate your spell aura and you will use some of those notes that are right here there are a bunch of piccolo notes. That's your main instrument, your only instrument. So you have to play the correct notes in order to advance. And the tree goes to its medium state. Then again, and then it is healed. The forest death sound comes down, and one of the monitoring comes up. You will repeat this with three threes. I'm just gonna play a little bit of the next one. Until it's fully healed. Forest death will come completely out, and all the three layers from the three trees will come up. It's a musical forest, so everything that you hear is musical, and you may not notice us first until you hear all the three trees. Each layer is associated with a tree, but it doesn't matter in which order you activate them. So the background music is gonna start playing as soon as the three trees are healed. So you can hear that the birds and the wind, everything is in sync with the background music. Anyway, let's advance. And you're going to find a bridge. 
we ha all of the wind I'm gonna show later is using Wise plugins. There is no audio files in there. And then you're gonna find the arena for Lydia. As you find Lydia, she's gonna have to battle with you. She her main instrument is drums, so she'll fight you with you with you with drums. So let's start a war song. And she will attack you on some stingers. She's dirt elemental, she's creating earthquakes. And all you can do is try to attack her. And then it will hit. To defend yourself from her. And to heal. So you can keep attacking. Now the tritone is a main thing on this game. So the piccolo notes are the same, but there are a lot of variations on the effects themselves. And then it goes to your section to play. Now, to not conflict with the tritone of your attack, I've made a second attack without the tritone. That is to play it only while you have your war song. And Lydia can defend herself against your spells. So you attack her. And she can also attack you. Let's move forward. She has her section. Moving forward. Now one interesting thing is that when you miss the notes that you have to play, it affects the piccolo but not the other instruments. And then finally her other section. She is very angry, so the drums are angrier. Anyway, I'm not gonna spill all the beans, so play the game to know the rest. I'm gonna stop the capture now, and I'm gonna talk about the containers here. So everything is routed through a mass reverb, one for each area. It's gonna be generated by the game, so they're gonna have to plug this in Unity the programmers um, and each zone is gonna have a different reverb then it's routed to the HDR obviously is not completely mixed yet uh, there is a lot of tweakings to do so that explains a bunch of the glitches uh, but basically I'm just here to show this while I have a bit of extra time so we have emitters so every time that you go through a tree it's gonna rustle let's go back to the designer layout you have three rustling and they're all associated with their own positioning. So this is a small positioning, so it's gonna be a sound playing forever basically, but it's gonna automatically fade in and out for each three as you pass through it. So it won't seem like a, a rustle going forever. It's just gonna have from zero to five game units of distance of attenuation and it's game defined. Um, there's an ocean, a large emitter, a waterfall is a large emitter, bridge. So now to show a bit of the water, uh, the waterfall. Here I have a re close, closest, far, medium, and they are in a blend container, and they all have a low pass filter and a volume control for each one. all the layers all the way down also it has the reverb that is going for now I have it here but 
just for testing for monitoring purposes, but it's gonna get out of here and gonna be game defined as well. And for the bridge, for example, that I said I have a Sunseed Wind, which is really interesting. It's a really cool plugin that generates a ton of different winds. You can add as many factors as you want. This is really amazing. This is the, the example that I have now. You can change the frequency and everything. Let's leave it as it was. We can make all this crazy attenuations. This is the reverb that is not going to be there in the end. So general backgrounds uh, for each, one for each for the village, a bunch of animals in random containers. I have silence in many of them, so then it's not a a lot of sounds going on at the same time. It's gonna pick one of those animals, one of those bells, one of those winds, one of those dogs, one of the seagulls, one of the generals, and then it's gonna mix everything. This one is an example of a blend container within a blend container, and then it contains a couple of random containers. So basically, it's picking up one of these on the blend container, one of these and one of this, and playing back together with one of each. All of them have a silence track. Um, those are the resonance trees. They are a switch container. So we have all the states that are heal, medium, and corrupt. Oh, let me open all the switches here. So there you go. It's one state for each three for make the programming easier. And you have this tree monitoring that is for that forest death sound that you heard. So every time that one is healed, the monitoring comes up automatically. The same for all of them. And I, I try to create uh, a work unit for each type, which makes my job easier to, to define. So on the characters, for example, I have collisions. So I have bush general, water splash. I have falls, I have footsteps. Now the footsteps is interesting too. Um, so basically I have a switch container that have a bunch of different switch containers. So one for the surface type, so it's gonna select dirt, gravel, grass, rock, water, and then inside of each one you have the uh, random container with run and walk and all the steps. Now I could do heel and toe, but for the prototype purposes is not needed is probably going to get added on the final product. Uh, he can teleport, so you have like, for example, an activate and an arrive. There is... It's pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, the collisions we have with Bush. Every time he goes through, leaves general collisions. When he dives. Fall for now, I have just a Wilhelm scream, obviously. On the combat part, we have all the piccolo notes that he can use. On this prototype, we're not using the staccatos yet. Um, and when he misses a note that he's supposed to play and doesn't play correctly, he has this awful sound so that the player knows to not do that. Now, most of my, of my uh, elements have a randomization of volume, randomization of pitch. I don't have a low pass filter because it's being controlled by the master bus and by RTPCs. And some magic sounds, some spells. So when attack and defense, for example, let's go to TR and attack. So it's basically a random container, which will pick one of those. So you have the stinger that contains one that's the tritone which is the concept of this spells that you have for now and the release sound now you can see that the releases has delay on them so then it's not overlapping so I have the release first and then the stinger the same goes for everything, basically. 
Uh, this is the when the magic is ready. We're not selecting right now. The wayfinding tool. When the spell is active. And we have a little bit of dynamic music as well. So the war song segments. We have Lydia. It's only one for now. It it will be separate in stems into future. But for now we have a master mix. And for TRN we have the instrumental. Let's go to the dynamic music here. Interactive music. We have just instrumental. And the piccolo. And the RTPC is on the piccolo only. So we have bypass effects, low pass filter, volume. I'm gonna make a bit more seamless here. And the effect attached to it, just a wise flanger. For now, it's gonna be tweaked in the future. Uh, the village music we have in a switch container, there's a happy and a mystery one. It's gonna have a conservatory, it's gonna have another one for the happy forest. Within others, now let's go a little bit to my events. I also like to separate them all by work units. So play and stop for a lot of them. So as you can see, every play event for the, for the uh, ambient, they have a fade in and a curve. That's gonna facilitate all the transitions. A um, bunch of characters. As, it's not as many events as it would seem because everything is container within container, right? All the combats, magics, music. We don't have UI sounds yet, and though I made that one just for the war song. I put stop event on the war songs because in the future you are going to be able to break the others war songs so they're gonna have to forcefully stop to play or when they die um the sound banks pretty much straightforward i'm gonna have to go to the sound bank to show you we just have all the events here including all the buses this is what i said you have to drag the buses into here so then it can be plugged into the game we only have the licensing for windows so this is going to be the release platform for now Let's go back to the designer. So the game syncs, as I said, all the zones, each one have its area, the surface types, uh, all the states for the resident trees, the village mood, um, some parameters that's gonna be changing. I'm not using this one. The war song, when you miss notes, right? Zero and one, straightforward. And the share sets are the effects. And for now, I'm working with the designer layout. I'm working with the interactive music layout. And I am also working with a change dynamic dialogue. Uh, as we don't have dynamic dialogue in this game for now, I just swapped it for my own monitoring for HDR. So then I can mix. It's gonna probably take another week or two weeks to tweak all the details. We're expecting the playthrough to be about 10 minutes maximum. We don't want it to be longer. So that's basically it. Uh, hope you enjoy it.